Lore. Oh, hello, my friends. It's been a minute. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Hope everyone is doing well. Just uh, being cool, calm, and collected as always. Enjoying myself a little red wine here. My official whining with the Ryback glasses established in 1981. Probably thought I was 24 or 25, but 1981. The vegetarian lifestyle has been good to me. Put some sparkle. I don't know if that's a little blemish on my face, but that will be gone by tomorrow. Tonight's wine is Yellowtail Smooth Red Blend. Times like this, we have to thank Walgreens for staying open and being essential. As liquor stores are closed down. But I must say, guys, this is a delicious blend. And for the price, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. It's tremendous. Fantastic value. Screw on top. You don't even have to uncork it. You just unscrew and pour. This bottle's almost gone. I like to do a little technique, guys, that when I drink, for you Elkies out there, that uh, you do, you do, you limit yourself. You, you know, you, you pour it a lot of times. You make the drink you want to make. You just want to keep drinking, right? 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 So what you do, and you don't have to buy this Feed Me More Nutrition half-gallon jug available on feedmemore.com. You can buy any one. And you simply, as you're drinking, you fill it up with water. And you continue to drink, and you're still getting your alcohol content. Some, not the same, but you're consuming the liquid. And you, that's the thing that you miss. A little tip from the big guy. You can make one drink go through all this water, guys. You wake up leaner than when you even started in the morning. Get a little bit of resveratrol antioxidants. Flush it out with all that water. Secret of the pros. Look at those tits. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Okay. Nice tips. Tonight, guys, we're going to... I have it open on the wrong page. Excuse me, guys. I got to go ahead and just switch this over to the other account. Okie dokie. Very smooth transition. Very calm. Very calm. Guys, tonight is, you know, with Whining with the Ryback. If you're new to Ryback TV, I read negative comments as I enjoy wine. And I, and I don't let them get to me. We just... We glorify the negativity tonight, guys. We monetize it if you will, but we show that you fight negativity with loving kindness. And can't we all just get along? Is that asking for too much? Absolutely fucking is. But here we are. Let me just go ahead and uh, scroll up here. Let's see. We got, we, got, we got quite a bit of comments, so we won't take too long on any particular one uh, Ryback talks coronavirus with WrestleMania. Still on from Chase Man Six. Get a better mic. That's not really all that negative. It's uh, and we do use uh very high quality microphones. They were actually the most expensive microphones, uh, on Amazon at the time that I got them that I saw. Um, and I think the audio issue that you're referring to, I talked about it on the show actually recording earlier today, is the laptop that I use causes static with all the different things that we have plugged in. And we ran tests on everything and that was what we we came to the conclusion because when I unplug it, that, that buzzing noise goes away. Unfortunately, I am stupid and I sometimes forget to unplug it, like most of the time. Um, but on this week's show, I'm coming up with David Starr, I think from beginning to end, the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, all high quality. I didn't forget. So thank you, though. I do appreciate the suggestion, but I do. we do use very high quality mics. So. Um, McDonald's Double Big Mac Food Review Mukbang. Uh, Venom X uh, says, can someone t till T-I-L-L, -L, the big guy, not everything is a quote unquote mukbang. I agree. Not everything is a mukbang. 
But my boy DJ Dells, the editor, he likes to throw that in there sometimes, and I don't care. Because we got you to click on it, Venom. Thank you, bud. But I do appreciate it. That is true. Not everything is a mukbang. But I do believe that double Big Mac video that you are actually referring to, I believe that one was a mukbang, if I'm not, not mistaken. Yep, I'm positive because I remember there were multiple foods eaten and that was a mukbang. So Venom, that wasn't the video to maybe make the comment on. Okay, moving on. Um, Devoted Exile says, Viet, Vietnamese, not Vietnamese. I don't even know what you're referring to. I'm sure it was something I said, jeez. But you are correct, Vietnamese. I will remember that forever. Vietnamese, 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 Viet who? Namese, Vietnamese, 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 no, 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 Vietnamese, bitch. Got it. Thank you very much. Drew James says, I thought I was watching Ryback eat, not Captain Planet making excuses to lecture people. You turned into the wrong channel if you just wanted to watch me eat. Dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're not a dumb bitch, Drew, but you, you are a bitch. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know what to tell you, bud. You don't like Captain Planet? Captain Planet was a great cartoon growing up. Fantastic cartoon. Talked about being a good human being. What would you, why would you not like that? Are you not a good human being? Because in Rybackville, people that are not good human beings get thrown down the pit of spikes, unfortunately, pal. So you would not last too long in Rybackville, but maybe in this world, you'll make it for a little longer. But thank you for commenting. I love you. Nothing but love, nothing but kindness. Moving on. Melty Boys says... The enzymes in this man's body could literally obliterate COVID-19 LMAO. That's more of a compliment, unless it was like a steroid thing, which I'm not. So it's, I just take that as a compliment. I got the great tits. Thank you, my man. A little positivity and negativity. I'll take it. Woo! Moving on. Let's fill this fucker up. Okay, this is a good comment. This not even what these are kind of we don't got a lot of negative comments anymore, guys. Who's fucking messaging me? These damn chicks. Instagram's like a dating app. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Not some piece of meat. A civilized, intelligent man. Treat me as such, okay? Moving on. Uh, the Phantom says, Ryback and Batman are going to be the ones that take the world back from all the evil people. I'm on that fight. I'm here for the good ones. I think a lot of people don't understand that they live, you could be positive and preach love and happiness, but also kill a motherfucker. Is that like so? Let me, let me ask you guys this. Would you really guys look up to me if I was sitting here and, and I am and, I, and how I am and I use positivity and, and love and different things for me to constantly learn and grow. But I also have a lot of anger in me and I am a man and I'm a Neanderthal and I have this instinct, a very primal instinct, like inside of me. So would you guys still love me if I was sitting here and preaching my love and positivity and happiness with a group of, let's say 15 little babies just listening to me, little babies crawling around and an evil bad person comes over and starts trying to kill the babies. And I sit there in love and positivity, love and positivity, the babies will be okay. And I just, and the babies are all dead. Or I fucking stop what I am doing and realize that there is a real life threat to these babies and I fucking kill that motherfucker. My case is rested. I think we all know the answer of what the right thing to do right there is. All right. But a lot of people can't understand that. They think because if you're positive that you have to be like this innocent, like, no, it, you, there's, it's a balance for good. 
Me and Batman would be fucking badass. That's why I know that much. I wouldn't be no motherfucking Robin either. You, you mother, that, he'd fucking have to be downgraded. I hope he's ready. I'd throw that Ryback suit on. Batman's riding in that little fucking side cart gimmick. I ain't gonna fucking fit in that. It's dangerous. Batman's like 150 pounds. He could fit in it. Throw his little fucking little bat, little fucking things. All right. Uh, these are common. These are, oh, wait. Oh, we think we got some positive comments. Oops. I was reading some positives. I apologize. I think they got mixed in with the negative. No, because those were the negatives. Hold on. Wait, where are the people that fucking hate me? No, these are these are all nice. No, no, thank you. Thank you. This isn't the show for nice. Son of a bitch, where the fucking all the bad, bad comments go? Or were those all? No, wait, those are old. I'm so confused because I, I do have three more for me here. These ones are really bad that I found. All right, maybe I'll just do the three that I have on top of that. It's the, the hate has gone down tremendously, which I encourage. We don't, it's okay to hate me, guys. But in Rybackville, it's people that have a negative mindset that want to spread hate. You're just muted. And we'll, it's, it's, that, it's okay to hate, though. Like, I see things I don't like all the time, but I don't stop and actually, I just don't like your mindset. I, I'm, I'm okay. You can hate me all day long. It's usually over misinformation because you're a fucking mark reading dirt sheets. But other than that, guys, no hate. Moving on. Um, uh, per dead, per dead or per dead or road line, per day, per day, per day, Doro online, per dead. What man, what a fucking stupid name. It's too complicated. Per date over it. What the fuck? It's open back up. Now I'm pissed off over his name. Per day. Perdado, Perdador online. Perdador, Perdador, Perdador online. Perdador. Okay, that's not so hard. Perdador. Say that three times. You were listed as one of the most dangerous wrestlers to work with. <sighs> Unfortunately, uh, the, uh, the one of these YouTube content people, they are obsessed with me, and they have done nothing but negative pieces on me. Since I've, even probably while I was with WWE, and we're not even going to acknowledge them by saying their name, um, but they have been blocked for years, and they are truly offended of it, so they use every opportunity to put a video of me and to clickbait me. The thing they don't realize is, which is hilarious, is every time, like, I have a good idea, typically, we, we keep track of, like, sales with Feed Me More Nutrition. Anytime a, these places try to put out a negative video, there's always a huge surge in online supplement sales. And I just laugh because they end up making me more money by trying to, like, I'm, uh, thank you guys. That's all I'm going to say because it, it is what it is and it's not true. Uh, but they, unfortunately, my best piece of advice is to, to you guys, if you do see those videos, to please report them, report it. It will get it taken down and it will stop them from putting out negative content like that, trying to ruin people's reputation and names. And it's, it's really unfortunate. It is people that will never, ever, ever be successful in anything remotely physical in their life. And all they could do is monetize negativity in false, false, false fake news. So it is uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is. And it, it comes with the territory. So moving on. Oh, this one was really intense. Javier Avilas. I hope I said that wrong. The more Ryback complains about WWE, whether it be about money, contract dates, corrupt doctors, the wellness system, etc., it all just makes him look like a disgruntled employee. For one, no wrestlers or employees are independent contractors. Just so you're aware of that. Um, it all just makes him look like a disgruntled employee. I'm sure he wasn't complaining when WWE, see here's where it always, it always goes this route. I'm sure he wasn't complaining when WWE 
was looking the other way on his wellness exams because you're damn sure he can't say he never took performance enhancers himself. I never took performance enhancers in WWE as Ryback. I've been very honest and said, talked about it from 20 to 24, mildly used steroids when everyone, not everyone, can't say everyone. The majority of people in the developmental system and on the main roster were using and used way more than I ever had to because I've always been big and in shape. My, I hold myself accountable for going into an atmosphere and becoming extremely competitive and still wanting to be the best. So I took a little to keep my big guy persona at that time in WWE. I've been on TRT since I was 28 and I did not use performance enhancing drugs. I passed every drug test with flying colors. My total testosterone, free testosterone was always in mid-normal range. And I kill myself to be an elite level fucking athlete in a day and age when people think I do that and I don't. And I promise you if I did, I could be 350, 60 pounds and be fucking like a pro bodybuilder if I wanted. It's not in my heart. It's not healthy and I hate it. So again, though, this guy already judges me because he's insecure and jealous by the effort and the work that I put in each and every day. And I've been so honest, motherfucker, if I did him, I would fucking tell you. I would tell you, even selling Feed Me More Nutrition, here's what I am doing, guys. I would fucking tell you, just as I do, that I'm on TRT. Some people can't comprehend this, so. So it goes further. If he had such a bad experience, he should just move on instead of constantly complaining about it and having it fester inside of him. Every interview I read or watch, he's always complaining about something regarding them. He doesn't even work there anymore, so why should he care? Secondly, if he's such a great wrestler, why hasn't he signed with any other promotion since? Now, I'm not trolling. I'm just speaking my opinion. I was a big guy fan in WWE and loved his gimmick, but he's gone. Stop burning bridges. Fuck you. You're a dumb fucking idiot. Um, why hasn't any other promotion signed me? If you read any interview or anything like you claim you have, you would understand that I've had 14 stem cell procedures and not wrestling. So you're clearly are out of the loop and you're reading dirt sheets. You're not reading interviews because I don't do that. I bring up awareness for the brand and what they're doing and whoring out wrestlers for my friends and talent working there, you dumb, stupid fucking mark. Do you understand me? You're the kind of person, by the way, I would love to fucking really fucking fucking meet in person. Because you're fucking ignorant and you're a fucking stupid mark that is ruining the fucking business with your mark little fucking mindset. I will make the business better by raising awareness of how bad it is when the fucking people work there that message me, please keep saying and speaking the truth. I will never stop. And if you would know, I've been very grateful for everything I've been able to get. But you, man, buddy, you've never fucking excelled at anything in your life. I can fucking promise you. I can tell by your message. And you're so misinformed and stupid, man. And I feel bad for you. Like, I really do. Because you're just, and it's, I don't want you as a fan, man. I don't want you watching my content, please. You've already been muted, but move the fuck along, pal. Go get lost. Go fucking find yourself. And then maybe make a new account and fucking come back when you're ready to fucking act like a fucking good human being. Because based off this, you're a piece of shit. And I have no fucking compassion for you whatsoever. Lies. And that's what I get mad at. Lies. With people when they fucking... Form an opinion on fucking lies. And it fucking... People like that. <sighs> Little bit of wine. Over with. Done. Rant over. Adios, pal. Uh, last comment, guys. Big guy got a little riled up on that last one. Let's go ahead and just take a little water break. A little H2O break for the big guy. He got a little hot. Oh, big guy got a little hot. <sighs> Luckily, a... Uh, We'll never remember that guy ever again. We've been through this before on this. All right, this is another bad comment. I saved the worst ones for the end. Uh, Carolina Reaper one chip challenge uh, by Pocky. The Pocky one chip challenge where I ate it and drove um, from the gas station and turned right into a Starbucks. And I've already eaten one of the chips before, so I knew what to expect. This was Ryback, long story short. This is the second video I watched of you. First, you cried over a pepper. That I understand. Do you understand? I don't think I've ever, never physically cried eating a pepper, pal. Um, I eat the hottest foods on the planet. That would, would, that would just cripple most human beings. So I don't think you quite understand. Second video, you just plain old went on and on and cried. Then threatened to block people who don't love you. You can't take the heat. 
I know for a fact I've never said I block people that don't love me. That's never been a thing. I block people that have negative mindsets that like to spread hate. Completely different thing. And if you're not intelligent enough to recognize that, I can't help you. So here we go with the insults once again. Uh, moral of the story is your dumbass and my dumbass and, and, and other dumbasses should have stayed in school and used our brains and not our backs. Now block me again so I never accidentally watched your channel again. I'm sure you accidentally watched and accidentally just left a long comment. Accidentally. Anastisbib. That Anastib is the name. Um, I did go to school. I got my associate's degree at UNLV before I left for WWE. Uh, was in school for kinesiological sciences. Um, and I realized I wanted to always wanted to be a pro wrestler and I just, I took a chance and it all worked out. Um, and then I read five, six, seven books, listen to audio books every week. I read a physical book every three, four weeks, usually a different one. Um, constantly processing information, learning business, reading articles, learning about business and have started a very, very successful supplement company from scratch from scratch and learned the business from the bottom up. Did it all myself for three years before hiring a fulfillment team and turning everything over that I now am the CEO of. Um, so you are muted, but we will, um, of course, continue to monetize you from watching the videos accidentally. And uh, I appreciate uh, your concern over everything. And I would love to see your Pocky One Chip Challenge video next, since you understand all of those. and. Uh, but I wish you nothing but the best. They wish all the negative negative haters nothing but the best, guys. And uh, I just don't agree with a negative mindset of... Because we all see things we don't like. But when you want to spread hate, that's the, in, a, in a very vicious, vile way. That's where you got to draw the line. That's it, though, guys. And as I sit here tonight and I finish my wine, my water... I wish you all nothing but the best in all seriousness. And I think it's all going to be all right. We got to remain optimistic and positive and just do our best to try to continue to smile. And for me, everything I've found ways uh, in my business and everything is, is up and functioning and running with Feed Me More Nutrition and my podcast and, and obviously the YouTube. But I've altered some things business model wise that I'm going to be adjusting for the future to ensure that our, our business stays at a certain level, no matter what goes on. And if I have to do more, you know, YouTube content or do different things, find ways to create more podcast revenue, et cetera. I, I'm thinking of things I can do. Um, Everyone's in a different situation with all this. And so the only thing, and, 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 it, and people are getting hit with this at different levels sooner. I have a booger in my nose that's driving me crazy, guys. I just got to get a little, little itchy itch. A little itchy itch. Out. <laughs> okay. Um, but what I will say and what I've and learned, and it's, again, there's all different levels to this, is, is acknowledge what's going on, process it, but don't sit crippled in fear, frozen, um, and focus on the negatives. Because there's, you're going to wake up and those negatives are going to get stronger and get stronger. And you're going to continue to move backwards. And I can't, we all are in different situations with this. So whatever your situation is, acknowledge the negatives of the situation and then choose to find ways to survive during this period. And no matter what that is, find ways, what are jobs that are available? What are different things that, that you could do to generate revenue? Think that's all you got to do and just find ways to just, cause it's a month, whether it's a month, two months, three months, I don't know, but just think along those lines. That's all I, that I can offer you. And, um, and, because thinking the other way, you won't find a solution. But if you're thinking the positive way, your odds significantly are increased of, of possibly finding a solution. Um, but, and, and I acknowledge the situation sucks. And it sucks more for certain people. And I, and I know that. So, But 
I do know focusing on the negative from experience never, 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 never works. So with that, guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of Whining with the Ryback. Stay safe. Stay home. Wash your hands. The big guy loves you. Good night. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on FeedMeMore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.